hello guys welcome to the channel today we are going to review the third installment of thor i have watched it two times already and it is super enjoyable and super fun it belongs to the top tier of marvel movies the film shows that even mighty gods may do things that they need to get over it we get to know more about thor in this movie chris Hemsworth feels very natural in this one he was awesome and just steals the show and he fully flexes his comedy muscles in this film there's a keen realization of thor's ego in ragnarok as the film explores what happens to a man who's been told he's a god since the day he was born, and the alienation he can feel as a result. When someone is spoon fed the meat of his own greatness daily, it's only a matter of time before he starts believing it above all else. This film really shows how much Asgard needs Thor. You realize that Asgardians aren't that invincible after all, and it might also give us the feeling that Hela defeated the Asgardian army just a bit too easily. It is not a typical Marvel action movie with humor on it. It is a full-on adventure comedy movie with some intense fight scenes. It too has some stunning visuals, especially the one where an army of Valkyries attack Hela. After watching the film, you might be left with a feeling that there needed to be more of Hela in this film. Don't get me wrong, Kate Blanket rocked the role as Hela, but there needed to be more of her in the second act. The supporting characters did more than a fine job. The Grandmaster was amazing and Tessa Thompson was great as Valkyrie. But for me, the most appealing part of the movie is that they decided to give Hulk some character. Here you get to know Hulk more than all the other Hulk movies combined. You realize that the Hulk is just a big green guy with not that much of a big brain. No doubt there is full destruction and death in this film, but maybe it is not as intense as the trailers suggest. Some of the best scenes in the movie are already spoiled in the trailers. The film constantly reminds the audience how silly all this Ragnarok stuff is. It even makes fun of the name Asgard. The film doesn't want you to take it very seriously and that's why it is so fun. There isn't any single dull moment in this film that may make you yawn. It is super enjoyable to say the least. My conclusion about the film is worth your time and bucks.